Thought of Vows is the penitentes signature on how it's it's cust it's custom to hear. And the penitentes used to sing at funerals, and I remember being in, at some of these rosaries where I would hear that, and I'd be inspired. And some of that bleeds into uh, our our scales, our chord progressions that we use. And then I am in the the choir. I have the fortune of being in, in the Antonito choir here, and the songs that they sing. And a lot of them were written by them, and they have that corrido ranchero concept to them, and you hear that in there. Lucy Jaramillo, the, uh, the choir director for years here. And what's interesting about her is um, we were inspired by her for years to play uh, La Virgen Guadalupana and, uh, and Bendito and, and all these different songs that they play. And we would try to bring that into our, our structure too. So we're, real, foreign, we're real, real familiar with those and familiar with the Penitentes uh, music. Uh, the Antonito Choir kind of models that, and, and we have two different progressions. We try to be a little bit different, a little bit more diverse, but we still, once in a while, on occasion, bring those songs back to the community so that we're singing in Spanish, and we're singing the... The undertone is classic New Mexican music with a little bit more diversity, bringing that religious concept. So it's, it's a branch of all those different things that, are, that make the layers of what is familiar around here. Um, another thing that comes, um, I might get this wrong too, but uh, the Mata Chines, the Mata Chines come and um, they come down from, from Mexico and they come here during the, the fiesta and they play this vigorous drum beat as they dance. And uh, I'm a drummer, so I try to bring that to the drummers that we teach here. So when we're we can't create it, but we have a drum set here, but we can't create that big bass drum sound, but we use a double bass pedal to try to layer that emphasis and get that, that, that energy that the Montachinas do with, uh, when, they, when they're here during the festival. Uh, with, with the connection to social media, that's, that's one of the things that's being lost here. The language is being lost and, and the, the chord progressions and the lyrics and the harmonies and the melodies are kind of they're, they're kind of being lost in the shuffle. So they'll, they'll play popular music. So one of the things that we're known for is um, we're a rock band in the high school and that's kind of one of the things that um, has gotten them interested back in music. So we're, we're, it's, kind of, it's kind of a hard thing to deal with here because to create the interest, we, gotta, we have to allow the students to play the music that they like, but we try to reintroduce them to some of the old sounds in a, in a way where it doesn't seem like it's too intrusive. But it's definitely a problem that we deal with. So there's not a whole lot of corridos and rancheras played. Um, but the nice part about it is two, two students that graduated last year, they were familiar with those sounds. Our, our lead guitar player could play that type of style where it's an inverted power chord to get the, 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 the leads that you hear in New Mexico in El Hurricane's music or uh, Lucy Jaramillo out in the choir for Conejos, or Salomon Lopez who plays. A real simple progression that you hear in, um, in, in most music is uh, when, you're, when we're playing a song, so if you heard this from the Conejos choir B, Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Now, um, all of our guitar players are familiar with the... Now, um, what you can do... So Salomon Lopez, a guitar player from here who plays a 12 string in the Conejos Choir will play an inverted concept, which is very customary to our, our strategy there. And then you have that, that sound. And then what I try to do as a, as a guitar teacher is say, well, you know, how, 
has our style influenced even Texas, for instance? So then you go. So you have the Lonely Boys concept that plays a slightly different rhythm structure than we do, but it's the same move. It's, it's a pattern. It's a pattern that was brought on by, I don't know, um, um, corridos are kind of, it's, is it a polka? Is it a, you know, is it a, is it Mexico? Is it Spain? Is it, is that style flamenco? Um, and those picking patterns. Um, so when you have a picking pattern, the way we do it in the Antonito choir to make it a little bit more modern is we, we play bendito, but we go. Same chords, but it has a little slightly different feel. Bendito, 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 say adios, los angeles canta y alaban a Dios. To kind of appeal to a different audience once in a while, but still being able to play the classic Coming in here. And that's the sound that you hear, whether it's um, Demonio Colorado by El Hurricane, and those are the sounds that you hear. And, and most of them stem from that because you have um, another song that's um, um, Pescador de Hombres. Tu And uh, forgive me for not knowing the lyrics, but because uh, I'm so used to playing the, the picking pattern that you also hear. Which is influenced by Spain a little bit, that. And then you have the southern country. And what's interesting about that song is when you hear us play it, we are we do a, which is influenced by, by Italy. So you'll hear the same chord progression. Michelle will hold, my sister Michelle will hold. And then you'll hear a lead over that. And what's interesting about the Conejos Choir now is the Conejos Choir, we're, we're the Antonito Choir, the Conejos Choir has a mandolin player that will throw little riffs like that in there. And it, it, it adds a little bit more to the already structure of what was already here. 